Hello everyone and welcome to Rules Kitchen. Christophe Rude here and today we are going to make a beautiful dark and milk chocolate mousse. Something really easy to do, but you will agree with me. You can beat a good house made chocolate mousse. And if you follow Rules Kitchen, there is no reason to fail. Are you ready? Put your apron on and let's get started. So let's go over our ingredients. Today we have six ingredients. We have our dark chocolate, milk chocolate, butter, egg yolk, and then for the meringue, we have egg white and sugar. We're going to mix our milk chocolate. Dark chocolate. And our butter. And then we're going to melt everything in the microwave until it reaches about 40 to 50 degrees Celsius. Let's start with one minute and then we check and we put one minute at a time. So I put two times one minute and now my chocolate is completely melted with my butter. So just to ensure everything is well mixed together, I am going to agitate the chocolate with the butter until we get an homogenized consistency. Voilà. Let's take the temperature. Voilà. So right now I'm like 45 degrees Celsius which is perfect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my chocolate and butter on the side and I am going to start to whip the egg white. We are going to do what we call a French meringue, which is egg white whipped with a little bit of sugar. So let's put our egg white inside our mixer. Boom! We are going to start to whip our egg white. Boom, tac. Lock it. Let's go. So when my egg white are a little foamy, I am going to add the sugar little by little. Voilà. So during the times that my egg white are whipping, my chocolate and butter is melted. I am going to add my egg yolk. inside my chocolate. All right, so my chocolate is melted in the microwave with my butter. I added my egg yolk. Now my meringue is ready. Let's call it as a medium peak. Voilà. Just like that, I am going to add one third of my meringue in my chocolate. Mix everything well together. And this is a really easy chocolate mousse. One of the most fundamental chocolate mousse you can ever find. Unfortunately, so many people are getting away from that recipe. But on my opinion, the classic will always be great deal in the kitchen. So let's focus on the classic, everyone. All right, so once my first part is well combined, I am going to add the rest of my egg white. And then mix again, gently to make sure to don't break the volume of our egg white. So you see how I mix I'm going down in the bottom and I am really gentle right now with my mixture because I want to keep the volume of my egg white. And that's what's going to give you the texture that is going to be light and airy and fluffy and yummy and mm, a good chocolate mousse. All right. Our chocolate mousse is ready. That was quick. 
So now that my chocolate mousse is ready, I am going to put it in a piping bag. Voila. So now we are going to cut the tip of the piping bag. Better on a table than on a glass. I send a few pastry in my carrier with a piece of plastic that somebody didn't pay attention and I can guarantee you that is not fun. So better to be on the table or on the floor instead of being inside the glass. And now my chocolate mousse is here. I am going to pipe the mousse inside my glass. And actually those glasses, I found it on Amazon, so you can find the description uh, down below. Um, so here we are. We have our little beautiful four chocolate mousse glass. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put them in the cooler, chill them for about an hour or two before trying them. So during the time that my chocolate mousse is uh, cooling down in the cooler, and I would say one hour to two hours maximum, even overnight, but if you, like me, and patient and you want to eat it right away, you can only wait for an hour or two. I have my dark chocolate over here. It's just a little pistol over here and my microplane. So I am going to pretty much shred some chocolate on the top of my chocolate mousse. That's gonna give a little decor and texture and something a little bit more interesting and less boring than just a simple dark chocolate mousse. Let's check on our glass. Et voilà. All right, and now we are going to take the little pistol and then we are going to shred a little bit of chocolate over the top of my chocolate mousse. It's a little detail, but like we said, the details make the difference, right? And this is it, everyone. This is how to make a beautiful, simple, classic, dark and milk chocolate mousse. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Really light. There is no cream. The egg white bring this lightness into the mousse. Amazing. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe and to hit the little bell so you can be notified each and every single recipe. Until then, au revoir and see you next time in Rose Kitchen. And me, I am going to finish this chocolate mousse.